Hello and welcome to my art journal video. Happy Monday to you all. Today I'm making a page about Frida. If you're not sure who Frida is, watch the talk o'clock uh, of last Saturday and uh, you will find out what happened to us and why this art journal page was inspired or pretty much I'm going to tell you what it was inspired by but the full story is in the talk clock vlog pretty much at the beginning of the video so you uh, will find it right away in case you're curious so this is Frida and uh, Frida is a squirrel who we think uh, or whom we rescued and uh, we think this is what she's gonna look like when she's grown up and um, it's a red haired squirrel that uh, well now has a chance at the future. Um, I'm starting, or I started with uh, sketching out my squirrel and um, I'm now inking the whole thing with dark brown and a bit of black. Uh, May is the month that I want to focus on ink, so I decided to have this whole page done in different kinds of ways to work with ink. One being outlining and sketching with a nib and my manga uh, inks which are opaque and once they are dry um, you cannot smudge them anymore. They're permanent where you put them and I really like to work with those for outlines because uh, well you can't screw up anything. I will work in the Friday video with another ink that uh, is more like water color. You can reactivate it. So in case you're interested in the difference there, check out the Friday video coming up. It's called A Pair of Pairs. Um, with my Tombow markers, which are ink as well, I'm going to color the whole painting and I'm just going um, through my box and deciding which pens to take and then I'm putting down color and liquefying the whole thing to color in the background which is just I don't know grass I guess or some green shrubbery and then different kinds of browns and a bit of a um, peachy orange for the fur of Frida and black and uh, a very light cold violet which is on the verge to being a cold gray that's what I'm gonna take for the stone underneath scroll Frida <laughs> so Tombos I do like a lot when it comes to uh, coloring with ink because they are pretty pretty easy to control you just control the water flow with the water you put on there and you can have a nice watercolory feeling though you work with inks and uh, the colors are way brighter and way more cartoonish or what we're used uh, used of by by seeing cartoons especially on the internet or in magazines these very bright colorful um, comic strips, cartoon things, they could very easily be done with Tombows, would they have not been done digitally? <clears throat> Excuse my voice. Uh, it's quite raspy this morning that I'm voicing over. So uh, once I had everything colored, I decided to give Frida one of my famous frames and uh, then I uh, made like a banner with her name and wrote down her name in funny letters and I do like to letter with the Tombo markers or these kinds of brush markers as well because you can really have a difference between uh, thick lines and thinner lines there. I used an ink gel pen for the white in uh, Frida's eyes and later also on the letters and uh, then my page is done. This was inspired like I said by a rescue story that we had on uh, uh, explained on my taco clock. So find out what went on with Frida, how she's doing 
And uh, I thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. There are lots of close-up photos of this page and a list of materials on my blog, so hop on over in case you're interested. And I will see you tomorrow with a new Tiny Tuesday and next Monday with a new Art Journal page. Have a wonderful day. Do all the good YouTube stuff. Bye.